Morning guys, how are we doing? So I'm up in Lincoln, Lincoln, somewhere out in the country. And uh, up here seeing my, my partner's parents for Christmas. And I've got no idea where I'm running. About 20 metres visibility. It's eerie. I've got my lightsaber on in my forehead. <laughs> so we'll talk about limited beliefs. Hopefully the signal will hold up out here because we're out in the sticks. And so limiting beliefs, I think they, oh shit in hell, look at that. They even, I've just come up against a massive great puddle. They either come from maybe childhood, I don't know, maybe it's the way that you trained your brain to, <laughs> to think, maybe over a period of time. They could be just where you've got to in life right now, where you don't think you're good enough to do anything. You don't think there is a better life. You don't think you can achieve that better life. She's up to to bullshit. You know, I used to have limiting beliefs about how far I could run. How happy I could be. How fit I could get. How in shape I could be at 40. How big I could build a business. And the way that your brain works is is those limiting beliefs that you have... Your actions will follow those limiting beliefs. So when you you don't think you're good enough for a job, you won't push yourself to reach the standards necessary to take hold of that job. Or when you think that you can't lose a certain amount of weight, your actions will reflect those limiting beliefs. So you don't follow through. So in theory, we're just thinking average. I'm happy waking up, going to work, coming home, a few beers, see the wife, go to bed. No fulfilment, no purpose, no ambitious beliefs, no drive, no passion, no obsession about yourself. Because we're held by limiting beliefs. A year ago, we came up here, had all intentions of running, and because of my limiting beliefs, I didn't come out. But over the year, it's taken almost a year to get into that fucking warrior mindset, unbreakable mindset, obsession, passion for myself, that I'm able to get up. Well, I don't want to. That bed is comfy as fuck that I'm staying in. I want to stay in there. It's cosy. It's warm. But remember, 100 miler in June, 24 hours, it requires work, dedication, hard work. It requires my belief, my beliefs in training, in my own training plan, to believe that I can do it, to believe that I can get out and run, that I don't have to keep talking, it's a good game, but implementing the game, right? So I want every single one of you to take your limiting beliefs Write down on a piece of paper all the things that you limit your thinking to. All of them, every single one. Write down what you think your limiting beliefs are. Whether it's something at work, a relationship, your health, your fitness. And look at them. And then I want you to attack one at a time. One thing. Don't think you can lose that two stone. Fuck you, yes you can. When can you lose it by? 12 weeks? Good, let's go. Let's put a plan in place. Now you're starting to plan. So you see, by thinking about and making yourself more self-aware about your limiting beliefs, you already raise that self-awareness by looking at it on paper, thinking about it. Then next to that one limiting belief that you're going to attack, you're going to plan how you're going to do it. There's going to be a deadline. You need accountability. You need to harden the mindset. Stop thinking average. Stop being a pussy. Stop burying your head in the sand. And fucking step up and change that one limiting belief. When you change the one limiting belief, then fucking we attack the next. And then the next. One thing I want you to remember, life is not going to be on your side. Fucking reality is not going to be on your side. Life doesn't give a fuck about your limiting beliefs. Doesn't want to help you out. So you've got to be prepared to be strong 
and hard in your mindset to overcome all that shit. Can't be burying your head in your sands and going back to your average limiting beliefs. You gotta be strong up here. You gotta be ready to deal with that shit. You gotta be ready to deal with the adversity that's coming your way. Because it doesn't want you to succeed. It wants you to fail the way that you've been thinking in your head. You have to change the way you think. You have to change the way that your brain works. You have to fucking start manning up and hardening up. Whew. Okay, listen, I'm off. I'm going to finish this run. I literally have no idea where I'm going. Just hope I can remember the way back. But stay strong. Start believing in yourselves. Start thinking you are capable of a higher level. Start thinking of the next level. Start thinking you are capable of more. You can do more. You can achieve more. You don't have to all achieve it in the first few weeks. You have to get it done over a long period of time. The journey doesn't stop until you stop breathing. Okay? Journey doesn't stop until you stop breathing. But how you're acting right now will dictate the quality of life you will live in 10 to 15 years. Just bear that in mind. Right, have a great day. Catch you soon.